Cell expansion is a necessary part of cell culture, whether it be to scale up cells for cell baking or for your current experiments. This quick video will provide a few tips to help make cell expansion more efficient while also reducing the stress on your cells. Typically, when expanding cells, researchers will think in one of two ways. Cells per ml for suspension-based cultures, or cells per centimeter squared for adherent-based cultures. For adherent-based cultures, not all cell culture vessels have the same growth area, and when expanding cells, it's easier to expand into larger vessels by calculating cells per unit area. Therefore, you can expect your cells to be at the density you want, when you want, regardless of what vessel you culture them in. To see based on cells per centimeter squared, I would use the formula found at the bottom of the screen. It is also important to think of other reagents, such as medium, in terms of mils per centimeter squared. For optimal cell growth and gas diffusion, we typically recommend between 0.2 and 0.5 mils of medium per centimeter squared. The formula to calculate the amount of medium added per vessel is found on the bottom of the screen. For example, if I plated Viros at 3,000 cells per centimeter squared and 0.2 mils of medium per centimeter squared in a T175, I would need 525,000 cells in 35 mils of medium. If I then expanded the cells into a Falcon 3-layer multi-flask, I would need 1.6 million cells in 105 mils of medium to maintain consistency between the vessels. When expanding cells into multiple vessels, the amount of time and the risk of contamination increases. One way to decrease the amount of time and alleviate the risk of contamination is to expand into multi-layer flasks. For example, here I have a multi-layer three-layer flask, which is a similar growth area to three T175 flasks. We have a five-layer flask, which is in the same growth area to five T175 flasks as well as a hyperflask, which has a similar growth area to 10 T175 flasks. So to recap, when expanding cells, remember to maintain equivalent cells per centimeter squared, mils per centimeter squared, and reduce the amount of work and risk of contamination by choosing the correct scale-up vessel.